Yo, what is going on, everybody? Distinct Tag here, Tevin, coming at you guys with a brand new video today, man. Hope you guys are all doing well, man. Feed your mind, feed your body, feed your soul, getting closer to Christ as you should, praying, repenting, all that good stuff, man. I just want to say one quick thing before I begin this video. We have hit, we have finally hit 100 subs on YouTube, man, because of all of you guys' amazing support. Thank you guys again for all the, all the amazing support, man. I, it has been a blessing, and um, I never thought I would be able to hit 100 subs this fast after I was just at like 30, like literally like a month ago. You guys are amazing, man, and I just thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let's get into this. Today, brothers and sisters, we're going to be talking about stopping the corruption of the youth, man. Children are like the most important thing in this world. They will be the saviors of this world. These elites, the, these demons, these people, they know that. As that verse said in the Bible, teach the kid while they're young. So when they're older, they grow up with it and it will be harder for them to break apart of. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. That's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to corrupt the children, these demons, these fallen angels, these principalities, the powers of this world. They're trying to corrupt the children, make them astray at a young age. So it'd be harder to break apart. But this is the thing, parents, 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 parents. This is your job. You know, it is your job to teach the kids the way of life, man. It is your job to teach the kids the way of the gospel so they can discern themselves, so they can discern all this stuff, so they can know what and what not to do, or else they will be taught by this world. And that is a terrible thing, you know. That is not a good thing for them to have to learn from this world and for their parents for not to be teaching them. And you know, I'm not gonna beat around the bush with you guys. I'm gonna be strictly honest because that is the only way. Truth is the only way. And um, there's no need to lie and beat around the bush because that will only make things worse. So I was gonna tell you guys the real. And um, the real is, is your fault, parents. It is your fault. You need to teach your kids better, even though it is partially the world's fault as well. But it is your fault for allowing this for allowing your children to do whatever they want, not showing them discipline. Good parents out there who are actually doing their job, uh, teaching them the ways of the word, the ways of the gospel, the ways of God. Keep doing what you're doing. You are an angel, blessed in many ways. God is proud of you. God is so proud of you. And um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna read a couple of scriptures about what it says about corruption. Jeremiah, verse eight through eight. How do ye say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. Then we got Romans chapter 12, all, all King James Version, by the way. And be not conformed to this world, but ye transformed by the renewing of your mind and that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And the only way you can do that is by praying, repenting, reading the good book, reading the gospel. There is no other way for you to do that. You cannot learn what is good and what is evil from this world. It will just lead to confusion. You cannot learn all that from the flesh. It will just lead to confusion. I mean, God has given you a morality conscience for all that, you know, to discern all that. But true discernment comes from the book, from reading the book, from praying from learning him, learning his word, learning his goodness. That is the only way you cannot learn that from anything else, man. Here yeah, we're gonna continue on with 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 through 15. And for sure are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. So I'm telling you guys, I know it hurts to say, man, but you know, BLM, LGBTQ, all of that stuff, all of that worldly stuff that they are pushing our way, that you know, you know in your heart that it is not right to do, man. Stop following these things. Stop it. It will only get worse if we keep following the world. Listen to God, man. Listen to that discernment. Feel the Holy Spirit within you and follow it, man. Follow it. 
that's all I gotta say about that. I don't wanna really say anything else about it because I'm not trying to trigger anyone on this on these videos. But I just really want you guys to know uh, to see what they're doing, man. Open your eyes. Use that Holy Spirit within you, man. Use it. And I see these things, man. Now we got um, Revelations chapter 2, verse 2, and it says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thy canst not bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and hast found them liars, man. It's up to you. It's up to you to, di to discern all this. Now we got John chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you that in me, ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation be of good cheer i have overcome the world amen so what that is meaning is when he's saying he has overcome the world it isn't saying everything that is in this world now that involves corruption and all this stuff it is not saying he has made that it's simply saying when you go to him everything is good everything that is of him is strictly and purely holy and therefore has overcome anything. And when you go to him, you cannot be deceived again. You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. We got Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, and it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, if it is within holiness. And when he is old, he will not depart from it and to start training your kids the right way man if you aren't reading the bible yourself if you aren't getting the good word the gospel yourself start doing it please I, I beg of you whatever you're going through whatever problems you're facing give it up to christ right now at this very moment pray right now i want you to pray get on your knees right now and pray to him let it all out to him right now get whoever is around you forget them if it's your children, allow them to pray with you. Whoever, allow them to pray with you. Get on your knees, whatever. Hold hands and pray together to the holy, almighty Jesus Christ, man. And it will get, I promise you, I promise you, okay, it will get better. Um, it will take time, you know, because everything, anything, no one, nothing's perfect. But it will get better, I promise you. Just do it. Just do it. Then we also got Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, and it says, Parents. Provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So don't bash your kids for their mistakes. Don't put your stresses and everything that you're dealing with onto them, but nurture them. Allow them to grow in a way where they can understand and where, in a way where they won't be allowed to make these mistakes that they're making in a good way um in the in a holy way you know raise them in abdomen of the lord raise them in the ways of the lord you know and you can only do that by reading a good book by learning about the gospel praying building a relationship with christ man that's the only way you can do that it's, it's just simply like that man try to understand your children try to understand that they have problems too but lead them in a way where if they do happen to make mistakes it's minor and they can talk to you about them don't bash them don't talk about them don't boast about your problems or whatever just do not be selfish man be righteous be righteous okay help your children in a good way and stop it with the selfishness okay that's all i gotta say about that we got titus chapter 2 verse 7 and it says in all things shewing thyself, a pattern of good works, in doctrine shewing uncorruptness, gravity, and sincerity, man. We got Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24, and it says, Parents that spareth their rod hateth the, ch the child, but they that loveth the child chastenize the child be times. Basically, what I was just saying before about not bashing your child about their mistakes, but nurturing them, helping them to grow, helping them to understand, but letting them know when when it is wrong to do these things in a healthy way, not by yelling at them or whatever the case may be, making them angry. But I understand that emotions do come up and you can't help it sometimes. 
but don't beat around a bush with them. Give them the truth, but give them it, give them the truth in a healthy, positive, good way, in a way of the Lord. And that's basically all I got to say about that. Got um, Proverbs chapter twenty nine verse fifteen: The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to themselves bringeth their parents to shame. I'm gonna read that one more time. It's, it says, "The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to themselves." bringeth their parents to shame man so i want you guys to remember that that's proverbs chapter 29 verse 15 man ephesians chapter 6 verse 2 to 3 children honor thy father and mother which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on earth so you know it's not just the parents either um, even though it is the parents responsibility to nurture their children in a way to help their children but it is also your all the all the children out there all the youth the teenagers it is your responsibility all the sons and daughters out there it is your responsibilities to honor your mother and thy and father's decisions so stop like i'm saying to the parents stop acting on your own selfish desires and your own selfishness and start following your mother and father's word if it is within the lord's um and you yourself start following the lord's word if it's not of the if it's not of the lord it's evil that's all i gotta say about that if it's not of the lord it's evil take it as you wish um if you don't like it hey whatever this channel is not for you um, i'm going to speak the truth and only the truth and um that's it that's it man anyways also when we have proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 through 9 says children hear and follow the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother man so that's basically what i was just saying before you know about all that stuff last but not least this is something that i wrote um i couldn't really find the verse about this um, this is this is also very important and it says children hold your parents accountable for if they do wrong so if you know that your parents are teach you the wrong way hold them accountable tell them um if if you can't if you can't tell them and if you know that things will go wrong if you truly know you know if you truly know that things will go wrong talk to someone about it talk to someone else about it that you know is holy that is of christ and or, or pray pray to god man don't just start following the world and doing what they're doing do it your own way pray to god if you can't talk to anyone else pray to god you know um he is there with you and he will always be there with you. Um, you know, there's there's all there's always ways to deal with it in the Lord, through the Lord. You know, you just have to find it. Don't follow the world. Don't follow the flesh. Don't follow the earthly desires. Follow the Lord. Follow the Spirit. Okay, that's all I gotta say about that, man. Um, this video has already been long enough. Um, I gotta get to editing this video. Um, and getting out there, getting out there to you guys. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, you know it's only gonna get it's gonna get worse from here unless we do something about it. And make sure you guys are uh, doing things the right way, um, doing things the holy way in Christ. And um, make sure everything everything that you're doing is within the Lord, man. Everything, every I mean everything, man. From uh from the water that you're drinking, from the shoes that you're putting on, the clothes you're putting on your back, from the food that you're eating, from the people that you're talking to, from the words that are coming out of your mouth, man. From the oil that you are putting onto your hair. You know, it's that serious. From the, man, I'm, everything. Make sure that it is within the Lord and it is holy. Pray before you do anything. And it shall be holy and it shall be done within the Lord. Thank you guys for giving me a try, man. This is a very important topic that I just really needed to tell you guys. It was one of my uh, topics that I had in mind to do more videos coming soon. I think tomorrow will be a Strive video talking about Strive. So stay tuned for that. Uh, brothers and sisters, thank you guys for tuning into this video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like, follow, and uh, subscribe, whatever platform you're watching this on. I don't know how long this video will be. I might not be able to post the whole full thing <laughs> on TikTok. So full video will definitely be on YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Thank you guys for giving me a try. Um, Hope you guys take care of yourself, take care of your mind, take care of your body, take care of your soul, man. Feed your mind, feed your body, feed your soul, man. Get closer to Christ. Protect the youth, man. And uh, protect each other. You know, protect all the children of Christ. 
And um, yeah, anyways, guys, love you guys all. It's been the Stink Terrier. It's heaven, and I'm out of here. Peace.